Greetings and welcome to the channel. In today's video we will be talking about how to assume a state. Now, states of consciousness play a major part to the manifestation of a desire. There are infinite states of consciousness, and you are the one to decide which one to occupy, since they already are predetermined and eternal. If you assume a state and occupy it, it is guaranteed that the desire will solidify into the 3D. But how do you assume a state? In this video I'm going to show you exactly how to assume a state and I'm going to explain everything in just 4 minutes, so stay tuned until the end. Now, first of all, we need to define what assumption means. Assumption means to accept something without proof, and an assumption is directly associated with faith, because without faith an assumption will simply cease to exist. Logic and reasoning may contradict an assumption. Your external world is ruled by your senses, and this is why faith is important for an assumption. How many times have you been tricked by your own senses? How many times did you have a gut feeling that turned out to be right, even though all logic and reasoning wouldn't support it? Now, an assumption is an act of faith, and without faith it is impossible to please God. By faith we understand that the world was created by the word of God, so that things seen were made out of things that do not appear. And this is exactly why Neville talks about faith for faith for the manifestation of a desire, because faith is all you need in order to have the assumption of the fulfillment of your desire. So if logic and reasoning contradicts assuming a state or the state of the whistle field, what do you do? You shut your senses to the external world. For I am all imagination and must be where I am imagining myself to be. By this action, I am adjusting myself imaginatively to a state I desire to objectively realize. And if I have imagined with conviction, by giving New York City all of the sensory vividness of reality, things will immediately begin to happen to compel me to make the journey. I do not imagine lightly anymore, because I know every imaginal act will come to pass. This is exactly why Neville Goddard mentions the role of imagination in all of his lectures. This is exactly why you close your eyes and use your imagination and creative visualization and enter the scene so it feels real and tells you to use such the state akin to sleep in order to bypass your logical mind since your logical mind is half asleep during the such state. Simply. Close your eyes and feel as if you are in the desired state. Close your eyes to all the evidence of your senses and use your imagination. Imagination will help you feel as if the desire is real. So, if you keep having the sensation of the realization of your desire, your desire will crystallize into the 3D. It is the law. Then, like Proteus, you will assume any shape for the part you want to you want to play. If it takes a fish, you will be a fish. If it takes a man, you will be a man. For that is who God is. Learn to adjust your senses to what your desire to be. Just as I moved to New York City, you can move into the state of wealth, fame or any state you desire. Determine what it would feel like and adjust your thinking by assuming you are feeling it now. And that was the end of our video. Now, if you enjoyed it, you can always leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for the next one.